Hi, my name's Steve Patton and I'm an archaeologist. There's two sides to archaeology. One is in the field, so looking for objects, but looking for old features, buildings, evidence of buildings, um, evidence of occupation, going right the way back to the Stone Age. The other side to archaeology is actually looking at the objects, looking at the information we've collected, researching, and then writing the reports that go out to um, go out to the public and publish books and things like that. So it's kind of two sides to the job, and a lot of people will do a bit of both. Some of the main skills that we use in the field is um, a good eye to detail because you're trying to look at subtle changes in the ground colours. Um, it's not about, as you see on TV, with the little brushes and everything like that. It's usually spades, mattocks, you're digging out whole Roman ditches and things like that. Within the report and research side of it, um, just an interest in history, an interest in prehistory, um, an enthusiasm for research and an enthusiasm for writing. In terms of the sort of person it suits, you've got two sides. You've got somebody who wants to be outside, um, getting fresh air. It can involve quite a bit of travel. Within the research side of it, it's someone who likes spending a lot of time reading and writing, if you're interested in that side of things. Uh, some of the best things about what I do is being outside. There's always the cliche of seeing something for the first time in 3,000 years that somebody else has held. Um, one of my personal favourites is when you can see finger marks in pottery where somebody's made it. The worst part of it is the weather that we can work in because um, a lot of the time you're still working in the rain, in the snow, but that's balanced with how much fun it is in the summer and the spring. It's amazing then. So, With regards to qualifications, you don't have to have a degree. I didn't have an undergraduate degree in archaeology when I got into it, but it's moved more towards a graduate job. So having an undergraduate degree does help. Um, but it's not definitely necessary. You can get training uh, by volunteering is one way to do it. If you're just interested in it, you can dig at the weekends, learn that way. There's a skills handbook you can get where whoever's running the site will tick it off and then um, that can go towards an employer. So you, you can do it that way. If, if you're more interested in the practical side of it, you can do it that way, but it's not as easy nowadays. Uh, in terms of salary, that's one of the negative points to it. Um, quite often, usually start about 17,000 upwards as a trainee. It can go up to 30, 40, depending on um, what sort of role you do if you're going into a management role and things like that. Tips for young people is do something that you enjoy. I did a few jobs I hated, I now do a job I love. So that's the main thing. Even if it doesn't pay well, just do something you love. You've got to be happy when you go home. The main barrier I've had to overcome is that I'm dyslexic. So obviously the research and writing side of it takes me a little bit longer than it does some of my colleagues. Um, I do have a master's degree in archaeology now. Um, that was also a bit of a challenge because you're writing at quite a high, high academic level. So that's the main thing I've had to overcome. This job is what I wanted to do as a teenager, but I took a long time to get there because originally I wanted to be a paleontologist and look for dinosaurs. That then turned into an interest in archaeology, but I didn't know you could do it as a job. I then wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> Failed dismally into my 20s. Um, and then I went into archaeology during the financial crash in 2008. So I ended up working in a psychiatric hospital for five years, which unexpectedly was absolutely fascinating and also gave me a load of skills that when I went into archaeology in my early 30s have helped me a long way. So even if you don't do what you want to do in your 20s, you still might do it later and you pick up a lot of skills along the way.